Okay, let's put some paper down on this workbench because we're going to try to mix up some. Uh, ew, I can't see with the sunlight. Mix up some uh, rubber mix for our cross shafts. Yeah, I sharpened it. Not bad. It cuts good. First time I tried it, you got to see it too. Okay. Well, let's bring our parts out and get started. Okay, every time I use this milk pod, it seems to turn things upside down. And then I don't know if you've noticed. Let's go a little bit higher. Higher point. That'll probably be better. Run it from there. So they say to mix well before using. Stir well. Stir part A thoroughly before mixing with part B. Since we're going to use about two inches of part A, we'll, uh, eh, this lid's hard to come off. I bet they got plastic on there too. It's pretty. Looks like honey. Okay. And then stir part B thoroughly before mixing with part A. Ooh, I've already got part A on this. I'll have to clean that off. And hope I don't get it in part B. There we go. We've got 30 minutes after we mix it. That'll be close enough, I guess. I don't know, I'm getting really silly. I figured about two inches worth per container. That's a four inch stuff. So that's almost all of it. And it gets it down to about here. So it looks like we got about four inches down to here. So we want to pour off everything down to that. Now, four inches is what I figured of that in volume compared to two inches of this. And we'll get two inches of this by doing the same type of thing. And I might want to go two and a half. We'll see. We'll go we'll go two and a half. We'll go we'll go two inches. What we're gonna do is weigh it though. We're going to weigh out two inches of the part B. How am I going to stir these two separately? This is going to be terrible. I need a stirring stick. I'll be right back. Okay. What we're going to do, they want to say stir it thoroughly. Okay. Don't want to really include any air in it. We'll just mix it up and make sure it's stirred. And yeah, I'm going to have to edit some of this when I go. You only got one stirring stick. I know, I'm going to turn it upside down. Okay. 
two inches about it's going to be around here and we'll just measure out what we think as we go Okay, now we've got a volume of, let's see, grams, let's go with grams, almost two grams, and that's including the, well, it's not including the container, so I, I did zero it out. I'll get a piece of paper. And I'm not just going to wipe it off. I'm going to roll it up here. It doesn't roll very well, does it? So we have to wipe it off, just in case. Uh, I've got it on me. Okay, so 195 it says here. We'll take that off. We'll put one over here. Mm, and zero it out and pour in about four oh I didn't stir it I'm going to power it bad all in anyway three Three, four, three, five, three, six, three, seven, three, eight, three, nine. There we go. Three, nine, seven is good. And we use the other end of the stick over here. That says stir it. So we stir it. Okay. Now I was going to use two containers, but I may only need one. Or a second container to fill it up with. These are pretty big containers. Stir it up, you're good. Okay. And then you want to pour this into that. And we when we start this, we only got 30 minutes. Okay. Always going to have some leftover in the container, so we wanted just a little bit more of part B than part A. Not much, we're talking about hundredths of a gram, probably. Let's see, yeah, 0.4. We know four, sorry. Now we mix, we just mix and mix and mix. Since it really doesn't matter which end we got. That seems like a lot to me. I'm glad only Cho did the two inch instead of the overburdening it with more. And I, when I get inside, I'm going to turn on my vibration workbench. Let's turn this off. Oh, my I hadn't shown you my vibration workbench. Yes, I have. You just don't know it. I think I've got it stirred up real good. What do you think? Look good? Yep. Yeah, not on the outside yet. going to be a nice hard rubber coating on that if we don't clean it off. Still going to be a nice hard rubber coating on it. But it's going to be a clean rubber coating. Let's go back to this side. Part A. Work on that. 
There we go. And we'll go into the workbench, the vibrating workbench. You won't like that. Look at this stuff. Look at too much water, air in there. Oh, it's dark in here. I'm gonna set you over here. There we are. Okay. Put you back over here. Right. You look good. We look good. Okay. Let's turn on the. It's gonna be noisy. We'll, we'll turn on the vibrator. Y'all see my problem? It's falling through the middle. Vibrating workbench. We'll try not to do that next time. This idea may not work. Especially with the vibrator. I'm just having to keep pouring it in there. That's not going to work. Before we mix up another one. Huh. Somebody should have said something. Oh, you did? Well, all this has been done. Let's pause this thing and we'll find and get back to the workbench some other day.